This is one of the techniques we use in steadying dogs up and getting them to understand to stand and hold their birds and to be confident in that process. So basically the drill is this. I let them chase it when they're on the ground and then all of our training says go ahead and get on the barrel so she knows to get on the training stand. This is kennel. Okay, so she knows to get on this as a kennel, and she knows that she can't, um, the only time I allow her to point it is when she's up in this, this setup. So this has been brought along to this point where I'm not standing her, telling her, whoa, um, I'm not applying it in this situation at all. This is just a conditioned response out of her that if she wants to point that thing, that she has to do it on my terms, which is up on this training table. And so we take this to a, a really neat level with these dogs. And so I'm actually going to flush birds right now in front of her. So I'm going to recreate that step. And so here I am flushing birds for this dog. I'm not saying whoa. <clears throat> and then over time this will transfer to being live birds before we put them that close to her on the ground. So we're just recreating this as the same as if she had just found a bird in the field. She's only nine months old. And so we're just making sure that we're the good guy in this whole deal. So as a contact thing, you can't beat it. Physical contact, I'm allowed to pet her. But I also go through all these steps and I'll pick their feet up and I rub their feet individually. Okay, I'll do every single one of their feet. We'll work, up, work around. I'm always pushing her ears forward. And if she were to break right now, she breaks. It's just another setup. We'd redo it. No big deal. Okay, you generally get them to be pretty stable when they just figure out that they can't catch it on the ground. This is the only time that we let them point it. We don't point it on the ground. When you point on the ground, they tend to want to lower their head and creep in. So we call this the bird dog bridge. It allows them to get their head up higher. It allows them to think about whether or not they truly want to break because they're either being successful or not. They get to where they're really used to being handled and approached and trusting. We're after trust here. That's our number one thing. If she wants to get disinterested and get too interested in what I'm doing, I'll go ahead and push her forward again and recreate some intensity, just like I did there. I push her forward. She's like, well, if I do that, I'm going to break. Okay, so that's why she's resisting. I don't want to do too much because then they, then they become a little fearful. So I'm just, just enough to keep her interested. Okay, if she wants to break down a little bit, I'll remind her of it. Oh, it's still there. Okay. And so this, it's really important that they're able to focus and that we're developing. We're not forcing this. If she were to become disinterested, I want to make sure that she's really interested in, in that way. Because it won't be long, it'll be a live pigeon. 
it'll be a quail, and we do, there's lots of drills, and we'll be showing those drills on down the line and what, what we do and, and why this is so successful. A large uh, reason that it's so successful is we're not telling them, whoa, she knows whoa, but we're not incorporating it in this situation. And we got to this point without incorporating them all. We pretty much just put them to sleep up here. As long as they're paying attention to that weight, we're good. If I feel like I'm losing too much or biting off too much, I just get them back down and let them chase it some more. When they get off of this, I force them to break. Okay? If you watch her reaction, she can't believe it just got closer. She's like, oh my goodness. He brought that thing. Look at it. She's going to get a little ruffle going on there. She's really thinking, wow, this is really close now. Okay, so she's being rewarded. It's getting closer as opposed to, in many situations, picking the dog up and moving them back away. Thank you. 